Adding lettering to a design is a common thing to do. You might be personalizing an item with a name and a date, or just adding a fun phrase. Start by opening the design. Text normally sews after the main part of the design. The design can be either an EMB file or a machine file. I've opened up this design from the Hatch Library. I'll click Lettering, and then I'll type Happy Earth Day. April 22nd. And it gets added to my design. It adds it to the center of the design. It's using the default color. I'll change that to red. And I'll pick a different font. The default font is block 2. And the default height is 10 millimeters. So we have a lot of fonts that we can pick from. We want to choose one that has the red zigzag in front of it. These are pre-digitized embroidery fonts. I'll click Avant-Garde, and it looks a little large, so I'm just going to scale it down just a tiny bit, 9. And I want it to arc over the top and under the bottom. And I can easily do that with the Layouts tool. I'll click the Layout tool, and now I need to define a circle. So I'm going to line up my cursor guides with the 0, 0 mark, and I'll just drag out to define the baseline and press Enter. And there I have that. Now previously this was one object, now it is two objects. Each line is a separate object. And I might decide that I want that to be a little smaller, change that to 8, and I might decide that I really don't like it arced, so I can change the baseline back to a free line baseline, and just move it into position. So now I'm ready to save my design. Always remember to save your design as an EMB design. Even if this was previously a machine file design, you've added embroidery text in here. And if we save it as an EMB file, the next time we open it, we can change this text to something else.